activist investor Carl Icahn is well known for shaking up companies. For several months, he's been buying Apple shares and urging the company's board to buy back stock. But now, one of the country's largest pension funds is pushing back. Josh Lipton has more. He's an activist investor who loves a good fight. Carl Icahn has a big megaphone, and he enjoys using it, taking on CEOs, corporate boards, and even rival activists. But in his latest fight, Icahn might have met his match. Icahn wants Apple to buy back $50 billion of its stock by September. Apple rejects that idea. The company has already committed to returning $100 billion to shareholders by 2015 and returned nearly half of that in the last 18 months. We're owners. We're here for the long term. Ann Simpson is the senior portfolio manager of investments at CalPERS, which owns $1.6 billion of Apple shares. She agrees with Apple and has a problem with Icon's activism. Now, standing outside and lobbing a brick through the window is really not a sensible way to engage in the conversation. We don't think that, um, you know, Carl Icahn, who's a relatively small investor with a very short-term agenda, should be steering the board of Apple, which is a very big company with a long-term future, which many people are relying on. Simpson says Apple should focus on product innovation and the quality of its board, not financial engineering. Icon is firing back, saying that Simpson's priorities are misguided. It is a shame, Icon says, that Ann Simpson is more interested in spewing pejoratives than improving corporate governance in this country, which Cowpers is in a position to do. As for Simpson's criticism that he's a short-term investor, Icon says he's often a long-term holder as well. He has owned Federal Mogul since 2001, for example. Icon offers another reason investors should trust him, his returns. Through October, Icon Enterprises posted an annualized return of more than 26% over the past decade. CalPERS, over that same time period, generated an annualized return of 7.1%. Of course, Icon and CalPERS have very different investing styles. Icon carves out positions in companies and then rattles boardrooms for change. CalPERS is one of the largest institutional investors with assets of $277 billion. It's not clear how all this will play out at Apple's annual shareholder meeting on February 28th. One thing we do know, Icon and Simpson won't be sitting next to each other. Josh Lipton, Nightly Business Report, Silicon Valley.